Hey class, this is Jordan Armstrong. Today I'll be talking about chapter 10, um, case 41, uh, the many friends of the candidate. So just to give you an overview, uh, this case is pertaining to former President Barack Obama's campaign, Yes We Can, um, from 2008, uh, his presidential campaign. Um, and uh, it was a very impactful campaign that he had, and it was also very successful, hence him being elected as president and serving two terms. Um, however, uh, the Obama campaign sought to provide information via social media outlets instead of traditional, well, not instead of, but heavier, a heavier campaign presence on social media instead of traditional outlets, uh, TV outlets, we would say. Um, and I know we could think, oh, well, it was so successful. Like, where's the issue? Well, the issue um, goes to the definition. We'll go to that part uh, where it says, give a, de give a definition of the ethical situation. Um, so there was a concern as far as uh, exclusion. Um, and right here in the text, it says, traditional news outlets make information available to anyone who is interested on an equal basis. In a world of social networks and digital streaming, however, sharing information to followers exclusively or first may inherently exclude others. So I think that's the problem and the concern that many had was being excluded, not being a part of whatever content is being shared. Um, and I could understand the concern um, because I mean, although let's just say I was a supporter of Obama, I would love to hear what Mitt Romney has to offer. Like, you know, like just being able to have the option to hear it, but once you're automatically excluded, it can cause issues, hence why this was a huge concern. Um, and then the values, uh, the values are inclusion. Um, inclusion is a value that many people possess and uh, this is one of the key values in this scenario. Um, they felt that those friends or followers were the only people being attracted to those well, not even being attracted, but being presented those campaigns, whereas traditional TV networks are, uh, they're not biased. So it's a very, um, you would call it a medium um, between conservative and liberal, you get that even divide. So there's no, it's not like CNN where it's more liberal, or it's not like Fox News where it would be more conservative. Um, two ethical principles. Uh, one of the ethical principles is the I'm sorry if I mispronounced this because I struggle with this word, but Aristotelian <laughs> principles uh, would um, posit finding a golden mean between potential extremes. So um, I think that's key in this scenario um, because um, it's like, again, you're trying to get in the mean is the average. So you're trying to get in just that middle standpoint is the best place to lie as far as um, politics. You don't wanna just give your information out or exclude people from uh, your campaigns. Uh, because I mean, hey, you could have someone who was potentially going for Mitt Romney and they get your campaign, even if it was through social media, but potentially it would be, in this case, they're talking about just staying and sticking to uh, traditional TV outlets because Obama, again, he kind of sparked the whole politics on social media, you know, branching out instead of sticking to the traditional politics, which again, was very beneficial, but did, but did cause many concerns. Um, and the loyalties would specifically be people being loyal to their supporters. So of course the um, Democrats, uh, the loyals lied with him and their his loyalty lied with his supporters, hence why he targeted those people, although it has now been turned back. And it's like that can, that's not really ethical to just exclude people. Um, so I, after analyzing this, I understand both the campaign side of Yes We Can and the Obama campaign, as well as why this has caused ethical concerns. Um, I hope you got to learn a little bit more about Case 41 and understand my understanding of the many friends of a candidate.